uh, I'll be addressing a few things which I think are important for the public to understand as far as uh, the current situation in the pandemic is concerned. And I'll take it from where Dr. Trehan left off. Uh, the first, of course, most important thing to understand is that in, in, in COVID-19, and we have now enough data, that more than 85% of people will recover without any really specific treatment in the form of remdesivir, steroids, or any other uh, drugs that we are uh, talking about. Most of them will have features which will be like a common cold, body aches, fever, sore throat, some may have gastritis, and over a period of five to seven days, they will recover with just symptomatic treatment, which means just taking paracetamol, keeping yourself hydrated, doing your regular exercise, taking your vitamins, and just uh, being positive about your health. It's only 15% of people who may go on to what we call moderate disease, where your oxygen saturation may fall or you may have high-grade fever and there may be mar markers to suggest ongoing inflammation. Now, it's only in that percentage of people who have other features to suggest that the disease has progressed that we need to give treatment in the form of remdesivir, steroids, anticoagulants, and sometimes we also give convalescent plasma. So it's important for everyone to understand that most of us who are either in home isolation or even at, in the hospital because of panic don't really need any specific treatment. Like you treat a simple cold, you can get away with treating COVID in majority of people with just taking paracetamol, keeping yourself well hydrated. It's only a small percentage which will require drugs like remdesivir. And there is no data which suggests that remdesivir taken in mild disease will save lives or will have any benefit. The data for remdesivir does not show that it actually decreases mortality. It only has been shown to decrease hospital stay. And the large study done by WHO, the recovery trial, was a negative study. It did not show any role of remdesivir. Therefore, don't consider this to be a magic bullet. It is something that we need to keep in mind. So that is the first message that I would like to give that majority of people don't need to panic. They can home isolate themselves. And as uh, Dr. Devi Shetty said, monitor yourself at home, keep yourself well hydrated, monitor your saturation, and consult your doctor if you have any worry. But you will become all right staying at home, and you need you may not you will not need to come to the hospital. Very few will actually need to come to the hospital. By rushing to the hospital, you are creating more chaos, and you are not actually benefiting yourself, and you are actually denying a bed to a fellow citizen who may need it and may not be able to get it because of unnecessary a hospitalization for people who don't need to be in hospital.